For the most part, the settings and MIDI routing are stored within the preset, but the first time you use your controller with MT Player, you may have to set up the ports. And the reason for that is because on different operating systems, the ports have different names. All right, so the first time you run MT Player, you might get a message that looks like this. All right, and this is basically looking for your APC40's output. All right, so you click in the MIDI output menu and select your APC40's output. Now I'm running XP, so that's going to be called USB Audio Device. All right, say OK. And now it's looking for the APC40's input. Again, since I'm running XP, that's going to be USB Audio Device. All right, and that's it. All right, and that's, you only have to do that once. Now it'll stick for any preset you use. All right. If you bypass that and you need to set it up at a later time, you can always do that as well by clicking on the right-click menu and going to MIDI settings. And here, uh, you click in the port name menu and it'll show you all the ports uh, that the player is currently using. The only two you need to be concerned with are the input and output for your controller. So select the input and just make sure that the right port name is selected. If it's not, click in here and then select the right port name.